we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a crime to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. When off we go. We follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? Nope. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. <laughs> A rat would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. You gonna watch my back? Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those... All should be well within your power to climb. Comfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here, and even after forty-five years, scars. <laughs> 
is never done. Got two legs here, you know.
huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Namaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Isn't a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. I'm not sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge.
fallen king. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to dim. Consider this statue. It has been placed in the... I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Are these altars? Interesting. <laughs> it's the core. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason, then one could argue. Regardless, you know what you must do. Rose more potent. <sighs> it's definitely good. I'm beyond. Uh. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Namaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Look through the crevasse at the gates beyond. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. Similarity, yes, but this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth.
himself the version of our Evanescent, rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Veil vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone, and there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal, our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. Why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that 
is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Lamaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. And no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our Vale. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. to me why we're even taking this detour anyone because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to you know save our homeland how can you talk like that in a place like this i'm scared out of my wits here i don't know this he dude's too nice to freak me out he may act nice but who knows what he's planning stay alert the home 
home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> but now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah. 
I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten times that shit. There's no Are we talking anymore? about the Who same cloud? Come on. Guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I'll think about it. Do another these days. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off pedal lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <clears throat> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh?
Welcome back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. me the wind that was you wasn't it hello in there Welcome to the village of Pagee. 